Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. I'm here at Intel with Barry Davis. Barry, I want to congratulate you on the uh, Intel Omniscale fabric announcement. What okay. is this all about? Uh, Omniscale is an end-to-end -end solution. It consists of adapters, edge switches, director switches, a full suite of management of software, uh, be that management as well as um, uh, development tools. And most importantly, it fulfills the promise that Intel made in 2012 where we're integrating this fabric onto uh, next generation Xeon Phi CPU and a future Xeon microprocessor. Okay, so the idea here is uh, when, when you want to combine these powerful processors together to get you know, scalable, mm -hmm. high performance computing, this is going to enable that? This is absolutely going to enable the next generation of high performance computing through a combination of the world's best CPUs and the world's best high performance fabric. Okay, so, so is it InfiniBand, or what, what, is, what is under the hood here? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> um, uh, the Omniscale fabric is not InfiniBand. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it, its roots are derived from the TrueScale fabric, okay. which is the solution that Intel has in the market today. TrueScale was the world's first specifically designed HPC fabric built on top of InfiniBand. Okay. But Omniscale has software compatibility with TrueScale. So for all of the, the thousands of, of um, applications, the middleware that's built on top of TrueScale today, all of that will run on top of the Omniscale fabric in, in, for the next generation. And that's a very powerful capability. So Barry, so why create Omniscale? What is the problem you're trying to solve here? The Omniscale fabric was created through an analysis that Intel performed back in late 2010, early 2011. We sat down to say, what are the barriers to the market, the high performance computing market, scaling from the you know, petascale all the way up to exascale? Out of that analysis came our direction for the Omniscale fabric. We looked at all the problems that we could find in the industry. The ones that came out, the leading problems that came out of this were, number one, it was the performance bottleneck, or the I.O. performance bottleneck, as it's often called. Yep. If, you, if you look at the roadmaps that Intel has, uh, is doing in the future and has delivered in the past, you see that, that the CPUs that we're bringing to the market are scaling well. The memory bandwidth that those CPUs utilize is scaling well. What's not scaling well, and one of the biggest problems, is the I.O. interconnect, the I.O. fabric. It's, it's, it's not moving at the same pace as memory and CPU compute. We've heard this from our partners in the industry. They've come to us over and over again and said, Intel, you're doing great on CPUs, you're doing great on memory bandwidth, other aspects of the system, you're driving power down. What about the fabric? What are you doing about the fabric? The Omniscale fabric is our answer to that question. The I.O. interfaces that people use today to connect from a CPU to a fabric controller is typically PCI Express. That's what's used on the TrueScale fabric today. That, that I.O. interconnect, or that interface, excuse me, is, is nothing but a bridge. It doesn't do anything. It connects point A to point B, and it adds latency, it adds cost, it adds power. The, the Omniscale fabric solution removes that out of the equation, and that then helps the overall power solution of the entire cluster. Okay, so, so w with this fabric integration, you're able to take out those middle steps in communication so you don't have to jump to the PCIe bus and then back to another CPU. It's more of a, sounds like a point-to-point -point connection. That's absolutely right. It's a point-to-point -point connection, but it's a tightly integrated point-to-point oh, -point connection. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. 